everybody. Today I wanted to just talk to you all about something that I feel like has really saturated my sphere of life, so to speak. And that topic is skin bleaching. I feel that it's really prevalent on Instagram, on Twitter, and on other social media outlets. So I really wanted to discuss that, especially as a young woman of Nigerian descent because Nigerian culture, in particular, West African culture, seems to glorify lighter skin and skin bleaching. So, let's get into it, guys. But before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, comment down below what other types of talking videos you'd like me to do, and if you like that kind of thing, let me know, please, 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 and let's keep this discussion going. So, after you watch this video, while you're watching the video, please just Comment your thoughts down below. Let's talk about it. Okay, so skin bleaching. Skin bleaching was not something that I was so familiar with when I was younger, even just two years ago. It's just not anything that I had really thought much of until one particular instance. So I was at home. It was, I think, no, it was definitely my birthday and our friends were sleeping over after we had just come back from being out and about you know just enjoying a night on the town and one of our friends saw a childhood picture now when we were little we lived in florida so we were always out in the sun and our skin was pretty dark just because you know when you're out in the sun your skin produces more melanin to protect your body from the harmful ultraviolet rays and you know just typical stuff right so um, our friend saw that picture and she was like, Zara, why are you so dark in this picture? I was like, what do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> and then she was like, what do you bleach? You're much lighter than you were in this picture. I was like, wait, what? I was just so confused that she would even ask me that type of question. I just like laughed because I, I just thought it was such a ridiculous question to ask. And she proceeded to say, like, Oh my gosh, I didn't know you bleach. Oh, that explains so much. I was like, uh, girl, I don't bleach. We lived in Florida when we were little and we were always out in the sun. Where we live now, where we go to school, the climate during the winter is not tropical. So, I mean, we're indoors, we're bundled up, our skin is not going to get darker. And she was like, oh. And I was like, I just thought it was really funny. But I can't even blame her for asking me such a question because really a lot of young women my age do bleach their skin and it's not even just like oh let me go up one shade but you'll see women go from maybe a deep chocolate shade to now like a lighter caramel shade and it's just I just can't even really fathom how much goes into thinking to do something like that but yeah, like I said, I can't really blame her for assuming something like that about me, seeing how prevalent skin bleaching is. So after this encounter, I really got to thinking, I was like, huh, I was like, skin bleaching, skin bleaching, skin bleaching. Is it really that big of a deal? Is it really that deep? Is it really that many young women that do it? And surprisingly, of course, like I said, it is. And as I was seeing more evidence of this, I decided to research a little more, dig deeper, and now I really just want to talk about it because I want to know what you guys think about it, and I also want to encourage young women to embrace the skin that they were given. So firstly, let's discuss the history and the implications of having fairer skin. During the time of slavery, darker skinned people primarily West Africans were brought over to the Americas and made to work as first indentured servants and later on slaves. Now with the introduction of slavery to the Americas, there came a very clear system that was based around skin color. As slavery progressed, a society based around the glorification of lighter skin became more and more prominent. Lighter skin was more desirable for many reasons. One such reason was that oftentimes female slaves were raped by their masters. 
When this occurred, occasionally pregnancy would also occur, producing lighter children. These children, seeing as they were also the master's children or the child of a white parent, would work inside the home and sometimes could even pass for white. The fact that their skin color as well as their parentage afforded them the opportunity to have a better life, made lighter skin, something that people, especially black people, sought after. As peoples continued to mix and more variation was introduced into the gene pool of black Americans, a variety of skin tones arose and as a result, colorism was strengthened further. At times, people were only maybe a quarter or an eighth African American. At that point, they would still be considered black, but if their skin was light enough, they would pass for white. Following the end of slavery, a culture of colorism continued and was still prevalent. Lighter skin was seen as better, darker skin was seen as worse, and people often treated others as such. Now, this is why color is such an issue amongst our people in America. The West itself has had a huge influence on other parts of the world. However, lighter being better than darker has been an issue in other cultures for a long time. In India, where there's a caste system, there are the Aryans and there are the indigenous Indians. The Aryans have wider, fairer skin and the Indians have darker skin. The farther south you go, typically the darker the skin tone. And the caste system is arranged in such a way that the lighter skin tones are actually on top while the untouchables, the darkest people, are at the bottom. Now, I'm not, this is not my culture, and it's been a long time since I've had world history, so I'm not 100% sure if skin tone is related to the caste system intentionally, but it does have a lot to do with it. Of course, with the West strong tent towards empire and conquering and domination, the British did indeed enter India and conquer it. Ultimately, they helped to further the divide between the darker skin and lighter skin people by seeing themselves as much better than the Indians and associating those that looked more similar to them skin tone wise with those that have wealth or were capable of acquiring it. In Southeast Asia and other parts of Asia, the idea that fairer skin is more desirable has been around for centuries, not necessarily because of Western influence, but because fairer skin is indicative of one who has enough money to enjoy leisure and abstain from work. In Latin America, much like North America, slaves were brought over and mixed not only with the indigenous peoples but also with those that settled the lands. So again, the lighter your skin, most likely the more wealth you had and the more desirable the skin tone simply because it oftentimes afforded a better life. As I was refreshing my memory, and researching how skin tone is viewed throughout parts of the world, I was very surprised to see the extent to which slavery had actually had an impact on skin tone ideals. Of course, certain skin tones being more desirable is not always related to slavery. However, omitting the cultural ideologies regarding skin tone, I think it's pretty safe to say that throughout the world, Western cultural ideals and Western culture in general, European culture, has had a huge, huge impact on how the world views skin tone, period. So anyway, let's talk about how people went about bleaching their skin. I won't really address ways to make your skin look white with makeup because what I'm trying to address here is ways to chemically alter the skin. One of the common ways in Japan, I'm not sure how prevalent this was in the rest of Asia, but Japan especially used kojic acid as a skin lightener. And what that would do is inhibit pigmentation production 
and plant tissues and animal tissues. So your skin would not get darker if you were using kojic acid. It would just stay the same and potentially lighten over time. Probably one of the most common methods today is the application of creams with hydroquinone. I think it was in the Victorian era that women actually applied hydroquinone straight to the skin. And of course there were issues with that because hydroquinone is actually a carcinogen and can cause dermatitis. Used in conjunction with hydroquinone oftentimes was metal. However, that's been banned in a lot of places. And typically only hydroquinone is present in a cream. Metal is more likely to cause dermatitis than hydroquinone. Some other forms of bleaching include taking vitamin C along with glutathione in large quantities. Over time that lightens the skin. And I've heard from the grapevine that some women in Nigeria are actually partaking in injections to lighten their skin. However, I've also heard that celebrities do the same because it lightens the skin evenly, quickly, and all over. Now that I've given you guys a little bit of background about skin bleaching, I want to talk to you about how I feel about it. Before I start talking, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to put some sources down below of maybe some documentaries and documents that go into detail more regarding the history and the science behind skin bleaching. My thoughts. Honestly, it breaks my heart so much to see how saturated our society is with skin bleaching. It breaks my heart to see how many young women, young men, old women, old men, how many people, period, feel that they need to change their skin color in order to be more desirable. I don't think that we should allow what we're shown in the media, allow the ignorance of other people or whatever else to cause us to change the color of our skin, to lighten the color of our skin. Our skin is beautiful. Dark skin is beautiful. Chocolate skin is beautiful. Caramel skin is beautiful. Whatever shade of black you are, just know that it's beautiful. Seriously. I know I will never truly understand what it means to have skin tones like Lupita's or Naomi's or Alec Wex, but those skin tones are so glorious, so radiant, and the way they gleam is just altogether brilliant. Now I'm going to tell you guys a story before I get into more of what I need to say. I was having a discussion with a few people one time and we were just discussing skin color and preferences in quotations because honestly as far as I'm concerned having a preference for a certain skin color is complete rubbish and doesn't make any kind of sense. So one person actually said that he prefers women that are lighter skin but if he had a dark skinned babe he would manage and I was like I was like, hold up, hold the presses. Like, what does that even actually mean? Like, what do you mean manage? And he was saying, oh, well, I don't really like dark skin girls, but if she's fine, I'll manage. So I asked him this. I was like, okay, so if it was between a girl who was fair skin that you were not necessarily attracted to and a girl with darker skin that you thought was attractive, which would you choose? And he told me that he would choose the lighter skin one. And I was like... But how can you have such a mentality? Number one, your skin is dark. Number two, these are your fellow black people. Number three, you have siblings and their skin is dark. How would you feel if someone used your model on them? How would you feel if someone had this mindset towards them? To me, that didn't make any sense. So it got me to thinking, okay, well then how does he feel about his own complexion? Because him, his complexion, as far as a woman's appearance is concerned, does not excite him. I was just in shock. And it's these kinds of mentalities that are so prevalent throughout our culture that really need to change. I mentioned this story not to slander or throw shade or anything like that. I mention it to highlight how damaged our mindset as a people is our mindset is horribly damaged woefully damaged and, and it really 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 needs to be repaired it needs to be altered 
occasionally I'll just be on my Instagram just, you know, perusing, doing nothing, just surfing, really. And I'll stumble upon an image of a beautiful woman and I'll be like, wow, she's a dime. <laughs> and then, <laughs> of course, I'll like go to her page, start scrolling through the pictures, and um, I will notice towards the very beginning that her skin tone is not what it used to be. Sometimes the difference is slight, but a lot of times the difference is quite significant. And when I see that kind of thing, I'm just like, wow, but didn't this woman know that she was beautiful before she decided to do this to her body? And once again, I wonder like what someone must be going through to make that kind of decision. Seeing how prominent skin bleaching is, I've honestly like contemplated I was like well dang is my skin tone like not beautiful or something like do I need to change it like so many of my peers are doing in order to be desirable and I was like wait what the f like why would I think such a thing because as far as I'm concerned this is the skin tone that God has blessed me with and it's up to me to nourish my skin to take care of it to give it what it needs to be happy so that it can glow and be vibrant no matter what skin tone it is. That's why during the summer, I don't even care. Like, I'll go out in the sun. If I get darker, it's fine. I'm happy being me. I'm happy with all my skin's fluctuations because it's a part of who I am. And it's the way that God intended me to be. Now, I know that that mindset is probably extremely difficult to have, especially if you're told, oh, your skin is kind of dark. Or if you have a sibling that's lighter than you and people are like, oh, yeah, you're the dark one. And like always saying, oh, your sister's skin is so beautiful or your brother's skin is so beautiful, but never complimenting your own skin. I understand those things. I've spoken to people about those kinds of things. But when I do encounter people that have those kinds of issues, as opposed to just passing them by and being like, oh, well, sucks for you. I try to encourage because literally every skin tone is beautiful and we should not allow what's been imposed on us for centuries and centuries to dictate to us what we find attractive, what we think we should look like, and etc. Take me or leave me fam. This is my skin tone. This is what you're getting. This is just the way it's gonna be. And I want to tell all of you out there that you should tell people, take it or leave it. This is who I am. And as opposed to hiding, allow your skin to shine. Wear colors that you know complement your skin. Experiment. Find what works best with your undertones. Find what works best with your features. Find what flatters you and what allows you to shine in the best way possible. Ultimately, wear whatever color you want. Even if you feel like it doesn't look good, it probably does. And you can make it work. I'm a firm believer in making things work. Whether it's lipstick, eyeshadow, a clothing color. Now I do tend to wear the colors that look best on me. But at the same time, do what you want. Don't limit yourself because of your skin tone. Your skin tone should not limit you. Your skin tone should make you more adventurous. As opposed to trying to change your skin tone. Nourish your skin. Let it be soft, supple, and beautiful. Make sure it glows. Make sure it radiates. Keep it healthy by protecting it, by moisturizing it, by exfoliating it, and etc. Really, there should be no argument as to whether light skin or dark skin is better. Now, I know that we've been conditioned for hundreds of years to believe one thing or the other, but at the end of the day, all skin tones are beautiful. Love the skin you're in. You were given the skin tone for a reason, and nobody, nobody on this planet have the same skin tone that you do. I mean, I guess unless you have a twin or something. But <laughs> nobody has the same skin tone you do. Embrace it. Make it yours. If anything, I think it's pretty ironic that currently tan skin is extremely in. Now, of course, a portion of the reason why that is the case is that tan skin is seen as a signifier of someone who has lots of money and time to enjoy leisure, go on vacation. I can't really remember when this came on the rise. Probably like the 90s. I really don't know you guys. This is ultimately the psychological reason behind it and 
now it's just continued and I'm sure a lot of people don't even know why they tan their skin they just find it desirable but another reason is that if you haven't noticed a lot of Western culture is mimicking the features that they've taught us to hate our full lips for instance are being mimicked via the Kylie Jenner lip challenge lots of celebrities are plumping their lips but why for why is it not something that is attributed to black women a lot of celebrities are plumping their behinds for why is that not another trait often attributed to women of african descent i say all this once again not to encourage disdain or hatred of any other race but to highlight the fact that people are so desperately trying to obtain things that we naturally have we naturally have brown and dark complexions embrace that people want that whether they know it or not they want that we naturally have full lips we naturally have booties <laughs> what i'm saying is embrace your blackness embrace your skin tone whether your skin is light whether your skin is dark whether your skin is somewhere in between there's nothing wrong with the way you were created there's nothing wrong with the way you look and like I said, I know it's difficult to get past what people are saying. But say for instance, if a guy says to you, oh, you're too dark, or something ignorant like that, clearly his mental capacity is not even enough to handle something as beautiful as you. He doesn't have the mental capacity to even entertain you for a few moments, so he's not worth your time. If a guy says to you, oh, you should do this or do that or alter this or alter that. Unless that something is something extremely positive like, oh, you should do your homework or something else that will benefit you in that type of way, then please tell him to kick rocks, tell him to get the heck out your life. At the end of the day, you need to be who you are, especially who you are skin tone wise. So if we want this to change, this whole shifting of mindsets thing, I believe it has to start from us women. I really do for several reasons. I think that we have to show the world that we appreciate who we are no matter what. I think we have to show the world that we do not feel better than anyone because of the colors of our skin. I think we need to show the world that we are confident no matter what skin tone we are and tell anyone that has anything negative to say about our skin tones to take a hike because at the end of the day that person is not going to add anything to your life, to my life, to the next babe's life, fam. Let's be real. Men, you could do us a huge favor by not promoting these stereotypes or these preferences because as far as I'm concerned, the preference is extremely prejudiced and ignorant and backwards. If you prefer a certain skin tone over another for the sole fact that said skin tone is lighter than that other, then you're an idiot straight up you're an adult man like that doesn't make any kind of sense and any guy who tells me that my skin tone is undesirable is getting a punch in the face <laughs> maybe not a punch in the face you guys but at least he's not gonna get my number that's for sure seriously it's just embarrassing to have such a mentality that's an extremely colonial and backwards mentality if you have those ideals in your mind as something that you prefer, then you've lost all my respect. Granted, I know these ideas have been ingrained in us from a very young age, a very young and impressionable age. And I know it's difficult to shed, but at least if you know you have those ideals, be aware of why that may be the case and do something about it try to change it please please so that we can move forward as a people and shed what they're trying to make us hate about ourselves at the end of the day we can only do so much everyone has to hop on board at some point but we can at least do that much for ourselves once again women please 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 i beg of you if you do just take a step back and ask yourself why am i doing this why do I feel that lighter skin is more desirable? Why do I not embrace what is given me? Look within yourself. Take a look at all of your experiences 
after you've done that and you've really pinpointed why this is such an issue, I encourage you to look at images of beautiful women of all skin tones, especially darker ones. See exactly what it is that they've been blessed with so that you too can know that you are blessed. We are blessed with melanin, you guys. Please don't take that away. Please don't let what makes us different fade away. Our skin is so beautiful. Our skin is flipping glorious, man. Like, nobody can tell me that being black isn't wonderful. Because it is. And to be quite honest, if my skin was darker, I feel like I would just be way too vain. Because I feel that dark skin is so beautiful. That's not to say that light skin is not beautiful. Light skin is also so beautiful. But dark skin, the way it glows, the way it gleams is unique. And that's what's special about having such a variety in the African American, the African, the black gene pool. The abundance of different skin tones, different colors that are all so beautiful in their own unique ways. So everyone, with all of that being said, this is what I will leave you with. A simple saying. Say no to bleaching and say yes to glowing. Healthy skin is in, y'all. Your own skin tone is in, no matter what skin tone it is. Okay, you guys, please leave your opinions down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Share this video. Let's keep this discussion going. And, um... I love you guys, I really do, and I pray that you love yourselves. Self-love is one of the most important things that any individual can have. And I think it starts from within. Love yourself, you guys. Love your skin, love who you are. God bless you all. Follow me on the gram. Comment down below and stuff. Let's discuss. And see you guys in the next video. Peace, fam.